experimental cancer drug slow inflammation associated to heart disease study at health world washington a recent study suggested that an experimental medicine that has been investigated as a potential treatment for cancer lung and alzheimer's disease may also prevent the development of atherosclerosis the precursor to heart disease the study, which was directed by scientists at NYU Grossman School of Medicine, investigated the processes of atherosclerosis, in which fatty deposits accumulate in blood arteries. This accumulation can obstruct blood flow and result in heart attack or stroke when it solidifies into plaques and sets off inappropriate immunological responses, inflammation. The new research, which was published on June 8 in the journal Nature Cardiovascular Research, demonstrated that plasma, the liquid component of blood, from individuals with atherosclerotic disease causes blood immune cells to produce an inflammatory signal that is often quite strong. Later studies revealed that the medication suricatinib significantly decreased this inflammatory signaling in sick tissue and human blood samples by more than 90%. Our findings provide new insight into the inflammatory mechanisms in atherosclerosis and suggest for the first time that suricatinib may offer an effective therapy in cases where standard therapy, in the form of statins, fails to help, said study co-lead author Leticia Amadori, PhD, a senior research scientist at NYU Langone Health. Physicians prescribe statins to reduce harmful fats in the blood, but studies show that even with reduced blood deposits, inflammation persists in many patients, who remain at high risk for heart attack. According to the study authors, the causes of this chronic immune response in patients are not fully understood, and anti-inflammatory treatments are sometimes ineffective in patient studies. According to Ramadori, the team reasoned that if a particular medication could stop all these molecules from being made, then it could calm the response. Because sericatinib was shown in this search to reverse the expression of target genes, the process by which genes are turned on to make proteins, the authors tested it in human cells, diseased tissue, and animal models to see if it could actually stop, slow, or reverse inflammation prompted by ASCVD. At the same time, the drug boosted genes known to make proteins that help clean up plaque deposits by transporting fat away from the arteries. Meanwhile in mice, the same therapy prompted up to an 80% reduction in cells linked to inflammation in plaques and shrunk plaque deposits between 48% and 70%, depending on the dose of the medication, says Amadori. Subscribe to our newsletter to get latest insights and analysis.